the breeding of terrorists for years to come. All that and more now on Graf's Grievances. Israel now preparing for a potential ground invasion of Gaza as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vows to crush and destroy Hamas. Since coming under attack from the terrorist group, Israel has retaliated by pounding Gaza from the air and cutting off all electricity, water, and fuel flowing into the Palestinian territory. Israel's blockade and relentless airstrikes resulting in a humanitarian disaster in Gaza, according to the UN, with hundreds of thousands of innocent Palestinians not only running out of food, but having to dodge daily missile fire. The Gazan Health Ministry now saying that almost 1,500 Palestinians have been killed and 7,000 others injured. Of course, all of this horror, the result of Hamas attacking Israel, killing at least 1,200 people and taking an estimated 150 hostages. And while I entirely agree with President Biden that Israel has the absolute right to defend itself and respond to the abhorrent attacks from Hamas, the way in which Israel extracts revenge is critical. The Hamas-ruled Gaza Strip is unlike anywhere else in the world. At just 25 miles long and 6 miles wide, the territory, with a population of 2 million people, is one of the most densely populated places in the world. The residents of Gaza overwhelmingly young, with roughly half of them under the age of 19, according to UNICEF. And these 2 million Palestinians are, by all accounts, impoverished, struggling to access food, clean water, and electricity. According to the World Bank, the territory has one of the highest unemployment rates in the world at around 46%. This uniquely dire situation in Gaza, even before the current war, should be well understood and considered as Israel continues to respond to Hamas's evil, evil attack. Gaza is filled with young, impressionable minds who were already living in squalor before Israeli missiles came firing down on them. These children will no doubt quickly develop and harbor immense hatred towards Israel and the Jewish people if they perceive the Jews to be responsible for killing their fathers, mothers, relatives, and friends. And this overwhelming hatred from a very early age will result in radicalization that breeds future terrorists intent on attacking Israel and killing as many Jews as possible. So while I firmly believe that Israel must hunt down those responsible for launching the deadliest attacks on the Jewish people since the Holocaust, every effort must be made to protect innocent Palestinians. Many of the residents of Gaza are also victims of Hamas. While the terrorist organization won elections there in 2006, they have refused to hold elections ever since. And over the course of Hamas's decade-plus rule, the conditions in Gaza have only deteriorated, Hamas systemically torturing Palestinians in their detention, curtailing the rights of women and girls, and implementing repressive policies against LGBTQ people. Human Rights Watch saying Hamas's rule may amount to crimes against humanity. The future of Israel and the more than 7 million Jewish people who live there is now dependent on Israel's response to Hamas's terrorist attack. Annihilating innocent men, women, and children in Gaza will only cultivate more contempt for the Jewish state and put the country's continued prosperity at risk. Israeli forces must be wise to show precision and restraint as they defend themselves and hunt down those who caused 
such brutality in their land. And the United States, as Israel's largest and most powerful supporter, must insist on the same prudence and discretion. No one wants more terrorists in the world, not to mention an out-of-control war in the Middle East. Thank you for watching Graph's Grievances. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe, share, and join me tomorrow for more.